Hey everyone, Catherine here and welcome to my new tiny home on wheels. It is a Keystone Springdale Mini 1750 RD at 2022. It's brand new. I'm the first person to live in it or to use it and I'm super excited to show it to you. If you're new to the channel, I have been living in a Lance Light 825 truck camper, uh, a 2000 Lance Light 825 truck camper for the last three years, and it is now sold. If you're wondering, I did sell it. Just moved out of it and into this unit. The first part of this video will be kind of a just a mini tour, not an official tour, more of a walk around and a reveal, just showing you the new digs. And the second half of this video, I will share with you my thought processes and my decision-making processes behind making the decision to purchase a travel trailer. So yeah, let's get to it. Let me show you around, I'm really excited. We'll start here on the outside. It has lots of outside storage. I have a pretty large compartment here where right now I'm keeping my shoes. And then on this side, this is a complete pass through. So it passes through from this side to the other side. It's a huge area for storage, which I'm really stoked about. Right now, I don't think I have everything in their permanent spots, but I will find a spot for everything. I have plenty of space to do it now. You might notice a solar panel on the roof above me. It came with 200 watts of solar equipped already and two batteries up front, which I'm really happy about. I will probably be beefing that up, however. And check this out, this is really cool. I see a lot of outdoor grilling and chilling happening out here. It's gonna be a nice extension of my living space. It's got a bar of LED lighting. It's gonna light it up very nicely in the evening. I am stoked on this. Up front here, I have my two battery packs. I've got a propane tank, and I think I will probably upgrade this to two propane tanks at some point. And I purchased a really heavy duty hitch. Uh, it is a anti-sway hitch. Um, it's a little more complicated to hitch and unhitch, which I've done a couple of times now, but it's worth it. I think especially towing something like this, and it's something I'm going to have to get used to. I have a little bit more peace of mind with a really strong heavy duty hitch. And on this side of the trailer, which is the driver's side, I have another identical storage space as I do to the passenger side. And then that is the other side of the pass-through goes all the way through. I'm, like I said, super stoked on that storage. If you're like me, I don't get very excited about seeing the outside tours of these trailers. I watch so many and I just can't wait till they get to the inside. So let's get to the inside. Okay, let's head on inside and I will be saving the best for last. We enter in into my bedroom area. got a closet there on the right and I purchased all those baskets from Home Depot which are contain all the rest of my clothing which worked out really well. I sleep with my head there by the window. No more climbing in and out of bed guys. I cannot tell you what a relief that is. It's been so nice. So many times in the truck camper, I would climb up into bed and realize I had left a light on, have to climb back down and do it all over again. So that is awesome. The mattress that it was provided with is pretty cheap and firm, so I will be replacing that. It does have USB ports built in, so all the modern amenities, which is awesome. Moving along, right next to the bedroom is the bathroom. It is a dry bath so i have a shower a separate shower not a wet bath anymore it's much larger i have much more storage an awesome medicine cabinet it holds a lot of stuff so super super excited about this as well and directly across from the bathroom is my beautiful kitchen. Look at all this counter space. I'm so excited about it. So excited to cook a lot of wonderful meals on this counter and in this kitchen. In the truck camper, I had no counter space. I actually already have cooked one meal here. I had a meal with, uh, I had my sister and my brother-in-law over for dinner and it was just awesome. We had plenty of room to move around. It was 
fantastic. The refrigerator is the exact same size as the truck camper, which is fine for me, uh, just one person. And I have a two burner stove top, which is similar to the truck camper. It does come with a microwave. I'm not a big fan of microwaves. I haven't owned one in over 10 years, so I might get rid of that. It still does not have an oven, so I'll still be using my Coleman camp oven <laughs> as an oven, but that's fine. Um, that's not really a deal breaker for me because I just loved the layout and everything else so much about this, this little travel trailer. And as I mentioned, I was saving the best for last. This is what sold me on this unit. These panoramic windows, this panoramic view. It's absolutely beautiful. It brings the outdoors in. Uh, I already woke up to one morning of snow and had my coffee as I looked out on the snow covered trees and ground out here in front of me and i just knew it was going to be incredible to create new memories around this space i cannot wait well that is going to do it for the reveal and the walk around portion of this video i hope that you guys love my new little home on wheels as much as i do I'd like to tell you now why I decided to move out of the truck camper and into the travel trailer and my decision-making processes. Before I do that, however, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Athletic Greens. Needless to say, this move has been pretty stressful. I know we've all moved. You all know how stressful it can be. This was really last minute and quick, moving out of one place into the other. My sleep game's been off. I haven't been eating right. My food's spread all over the place. But one thing that's made it very easy and convenient to make sure that my body gets the nutrients it needs is my AG1 by Athletic Greens. I always make sure I have a couple of travel packets handy, and I've been taking that every morning to get my day started. That way I have the energy to get through the day and make sure my body is getting the nutrients it needs. AG1 supports your energy, focus, gut health, digestion, and immune system without the need to take multiple products or pills. With 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one convenient daily serving. I've been taking Athletic Greens for about six months now and the question I get the most is, does it really taste good? I take mine with ice cold water, and yes, it does. Go to the link in the description now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. I'm a huge fan of AG1, and that's why you're hearing me talk about it all the time. And right now, Athletic Greens is offering my community an immune-supporting, free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. First, I want to thank everyone who hazarded a guess as to what I was going to get in the last video. I asked you if you wanted to take a guess as to what I was replacing the truck camper with, and some of you were dead on. However, some of you obviously think I am rolling in the dough. <laughs> there were earth roamers uh, listed a couple of times. Not sure if you guys know how expensive those are. Sprinters are very expensive. They are way out of my price range. Um, a lot of the vehicles that were guessed are out of my price range. Some people thought maybe a manufacturer might have reached out to me and uh, was supplying me with a rig. Uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. So in determining what type of um, vehicle trailer was going to replace the truck camper, I definitely had to stay within a budget. When I purchased the truck camper and the truck and I initially hit the road full time, I had no idea how any of this was going to work. So I wanted to pay cash because I didn't know that I would be able to afford any kind of a payment for a new vehicle. So that's what I did. Unfortunately, I went and used and paid cash and the truck has been causing me a lot of financial heartache, I should say. It has definitely become a money pit 
and I'm to the point that I just do not want to put any more money into it. I am embarrassed to tell you guys how much I spent on it last year. It's, it's too much. So for the time being, I still have the truck. I just recently sunk a bunch of money into it. So I will probably continue to drive it until it won't drive any longer. <laughs> uh, at which point I will get a new tow vehicle for the trailer. Once I started having all these issues with the truck, I started trying to figure out what I was going to do for my future and to make sure that I could continue a life on the road. The first thing I did was started shopping new trucks. I was looking for a truck that was comparable to the truck I have now, which is a Chevy Silverado 2500 HD Duramax diesel. Um, it's a really heavy duty vehicle and I need something very robust to carry the truck camper. I did not want to go used again. So in shopping new trucks, I realized that they are very, very, very expensive. <laughs> so I started thinking of a plan B. I thought, well, maybe I can tow something. I started looking at little towable trailers like R pods and teardrops and things like that. And those were very expensive and I was feeling very gutted and disheartened and I just decided kind of just to drop it for now and just uh, hope that my truck was going to hold out for a little longer. I came after I visited Capitol Reef, I came to visit my sister and her husband, my brother-in-law at their property in Utah. And my sister happened to come across this cute little travel trailer. She showed it to me and when I saw it, I just, my eyes lit up, I got super excited because not only was it within my price range, it was a layout that I really, really liked. I just, first of all, fell in love with the windows and I just thought it was super cute. Uh, she found a used one locally and when I called the gentleman, he unfortunately it had already sold. So I then began to look to see if there were any in the area and I found a brand new 2022 within a two and a half hour drive. And I decided that the next day I was going to go ahead and take a look at it. That night I decided to go ahead and jot down a list of pros and cons. These are the pros, these are the cons because I knew I'd walk in there and get really excited and probably want to just buy it. But I wanted to make sure that in doing so, I was making the right decision. So the pros far outweighed the cons and I walked into the trailer and I knew that I wanted it right away. I don't have a lot of cash lying around, so I knew that I was going to need to finance it and that is what I needed to do. When all of these issues were happening with the truck, I actually added up and totaled the amount of money that I spent on it last year. I divided it by 12 and I knew at that point that I could afford a payment for not only a trailer, but a tow vehicle when the time comes. One of the big reasons that I wanted a towable trailer is because the variety of vehicles that you can purchase to tow it uh, far exceeds what I would need in order to continue to live in the truck camper. And I know that I need something with a pretty robust transmission because I'll be towing a lot of weight. That gave me a lot more options. It is intimidating. I have never towed a vehicle. However, I did hitch it up from the dealership and tow it back here. I back here at my sister's property as I await packages and just visit with them. And uh, I was able to back it into the space that it's currently in with the help of and guidance of my brother-in-law. I did order a backup camera. I know that won't help me park, but it'll just make sure that I don't hit anything as I'm backing up. So that's going to take getting used to. I was very intimidated when I started out in the truck and truck camper and now I'm as comfortable as can be. So I know that I can do it and I know in time it's gonna get a lot easier. Financially, it made sense. I knew I could get a brand new trailer, 2022, and a brand new tow vehicle for the price of one truck that would tow my old 22 year old truck camper. It is definitely bittersweet saying goodbye to my tiny little truck camper and some 
little home that has served me so loyally for the last three years. I was definitely at home in it and definitely attached to it. So it doesn't, it's not easy just to say goodbye and hello to this one, but change is good. And, you know, I've always felt that way when I've even moved from one home to the, to the other. And then eventually that home is my new home. So it was just time for a new chapter. And I think now that you have seen it, I think I'll be a lot more comfortable here. It offers me more space, more room. One of the things I'm really excited about is I have room to work out in here. <laughs> uh, I couldn't do that in the truck camper. And oftentimes I don't want to go outside because you never know who's watching you. So that's a plus as, as well as many other pluses and pros to getting this vehicle. I'm super excited about the prospect of setting up camp, dropping off the trailer, and having my tow vehicle to roam free in. The fact of the matter is I never took the camper off the truck. It just was too daunting to me. I had hand crank jacks. I had happy jack, happy jack turnbuckles, which were just a pain. And I just never did it. I never really took it down the crazy remote roads that I thought I would when I initially bought it. And I was, I babied it. It was an RV sitting on top of my truck. So I was careful about the roads that I went down. I don't think that there's anywhere that I took the truck camper that I won't take this trailer. There might be one or two places. And I see myself definitely unhitching and taking off. I'm already thinking about the prospects of where I can take the tow vehicle that I wouldn't take the truck with the camper on it. So that is super exciting to me. And it's definitely one of the big, big pros of getting this set up. I will be taking it out on its maiden adventure this coming week. My sister and her husband will be joining me in their trailer. It will be nice for on the first outing to have their company and help uh, since it'll be my first time taking this baby out. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. And that is the next video that you will see. I hope that you guys are all excited for uh, the new adventures in the new home. And I can't wait to cook in here for you and just a whole new slew of adventures. <laughs> that is going to do it for this video. It's all very exciting. I'm still pretty overwhelmed. Make sure that you stay tuned for all the upcoming adventures. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you all so much for your support. I will see you all on the next adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye.